Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab. I am so glad to have you back checking out what I am up to. So in today's video, I didn't do an uh, intro in my car because I wasn't really sure, but in today's video, there was enough things on the thrift store shelves that I was able to video and share with you all. So come along with me as I go to four, yep, four different thrift stores and round robin right back to my original thrift store in my local town. My hometown Goodwill and they're used to me visiting them once, twice, sometimes maybe three times a day. It's really not that far from our house and it definitely the stock does rotate. So let's go in and grab a cart and see what we can find. Now this is about 10 o'clock in the morning. My local store opens up at 9 30 so I'm sure there's a lot of people that front and center as soon as they open come in and see what they have I like to wait a little bit because sometimes they're restocking and a lot of times on a Monday which is when I film this they are actually unstocking they're taking off old merchandise before they actually restock but because of the timing I thought I would stop here first before visiting the other ones on my travels this sunflower picture it's hand painted it's signed by the artist it's gorgeous but sadly items like this don't usually resell for me so I have to walk away kind of like this vintage spice rack I love the style but the last time I did a bunch of these I ended up selling them at the US 12 garage sale so you just have to know what sells in your area and, and doesn't trying to decide with these really small little cubbies and of course it was upside down again <laughs> if it is worth my time redoing at the 429 price tag this is a nice large basket was trying to find the price but noticed it was broken coming unweaved anyway so we'll just walk away from that and i always love little figurines i don't know anything about little figurines but they're just fun to look at so I, this is just like the little knick-knacky area just trying to see if anything catches my eye a bright orange coffee mug is going to catch my attention so I kind of had to read it a little bit and see what it was saying that was that is fun so I'm always looking for pottery mugs Ray Dunn Starbucks mugs so I always take a gander at this section usually they're about the 229 price tag for a coffee mug mm -hmm. 
Now, even though there's a lot of clear glass, I always stop. I always really look because sometimes the best things are on that bottom shelf. So, yep, I'm always looking for ironstone pitch, white pitchers that I can resell. Now, my son has me looking at colored glass. And so I think those are espresso cups, maybe. But I don't do a lot of clear glass because it really doesn't sell. I've tried painting like milk bottles and they don't really sell either. So I just have to walk away even from that clear ball jar with the lid. And you can start your morning off with your coffee mug and then you have a prescription for your beer right after your coffee later that afternoon. Now this Goodwill is about 25 miles away. It used to be my favorite Goodwill and one of the reasons I really don't travel out of town so much. But let me share the adventure with you. Let's grab a cart, see if these carts are a little bit easier to pull and see what they have on their shelves. I really liked this brown glass. It was They looked like they were from Hobby Lobby. But since we're going into the spring season, I'm going to leave them behind. It, I feel as if they're more of a fall kind of thing, and I don't want to store them. Now, I thought these were going to be Pioneer Woman, but I guess they are just something that's kind of similar. And then I'm always, there you go again. My son's got me looking at pieces that I normally don't look at. But oh my gosh, do you see that price tag? Yes, that's the sad part about what's going on on this door. I do think that's way overpriced and they even had to mark it down because it's just sitting. Yep, here again, look at that price. So you just have to walk away. I, I, I don't understand why the store is doing that and there's hardly any people in there and there's hardly any stock so I can't see that it's being beneficial to them. I was hoping that these were going to be metal but they weren't and I still have a couple wall files in my inventory but I did like these. From one extreme to the other, these were only $2.29. I, they were really heavy, so I couldn't lift them up to see what was going on. But I didn't see any cracks or any huge problems with them, so I didn't understand that. To put the price on the bottom of these, so they were super heavy too. So I guess I'll just leave them on that bottom shelf and not be able to share the price with you. Sorry. This is a gorgeous pottery bowl. It even is signed, but I have quite a few still in my inventory, so I'm trying to be good about controlling inventory. Since our workshop and where we store inventory are one and the same, yes, I need to control it so I don't have to keep cleaning it off. And here's another one of those, oh my, $35, oh my. See, that's why I don't even a lot of times even bother coming in here because the things that I would want would be too expensive. <laughs> I have a lot of frames that I need to do, but at the time we couldn't really afford. They didn't have pallet wood for Chris to buy. Beadboard was kind of pricey. So now that it's kind of coming back down, I'm hoping to be able to do some more wall decor. And this used to be my favorite spot. They revamped this whole spot and they had... Uh, this used to be just packed with goodies and you can do so much tell that it is not packed but i still i'm going to take a gander i am in here there may be something i still want and i can afford to make over or resell <music> Thank you. 
my mind, I thought I got a good p <laughs> picture of this red glass. And I'm not, I was trying to see if it was sterling or not. You know, my son has me looking at that glassware now. But I left it behind because I really don't know anything about it. <laughs> and I thought this guy was kind of just a little awkward, but funny. that votive that Jocelyn of Crazy Lamp Lady is always looking for a sunny baby so of course we're gonna have to take a look see at the votives and that kind of freaked me out at first I thought it was real but realized it was just a little bee on a honey a honey candle now these $3.29 a piece I think that's what the unfinished ones at Hobby Lobby are so nope gonna have to leave those behind the box is beautiful but mm, boxes are kind of iffy now i really do like these 329 yet again a piece not not as a pair so i'll have to think about those and these birds are i like think i like them but i'm not sure I spied this Magnolia Home canister right off the bat, but this is how they always look. What is that about the material? I've redone these, but since this is missing its spoon, I'm going to leave it behind. But it's just so, they're not cheap. And th for them to mark up like that, so sad. And then, of course, we're going to take another look-see at the coffee mugs to see if I see anything that will catch my eye and I think that was pottery but it had a weird feel to it so wasn't too sure about that because I want people to be able to drink out of them if they want but didn't find any cups today and there's a lazy Susan but I got a whole bunch of those in my inventory too but if you need a turntable to paint your stuff on get yourself a turntable Now, this was beautiful, but yep, there you go again, a $15 price tag. The last time I was in the store, they had a whole aisle up front that had all their vintage, what they consider vintage finds. For some reason, now they have them kind of strung out throughout the store. Now I drove another 15 minutes to go to the next Goodwill. This one never disappoints me at all. So let's go in and see what treasures we can find. to stop for the moment because that exactly almost was our old couch except we had a chase on it <laughs> and we had it for like 15 years that whoever brought that in good for them we gave it away free on Facebook when we got our new one and I'm happy that somebody came and got it that we did not have to drive it to be donated So these caught my eye, enamelware, cute little sunflowers, and then I'm like, oh, I'm like, there's more. Oh, hold on, there's even more. How cute is this canister set? I wouldn't do a thing to this. It's so cute. So I video with my phone, so I'm sorry that I did not realize a couple times instead of hitting video, I hit cinema. So what that does is like really focuses in on the object that I'm holding and then blurs out everything else. So I do end up fixing it, but I am so sorry about that. You know, it only takes one little extra shot of the dial to change your settings. <laughs> Thank you.
Now this dresser is beautiful as is. I, I actually just walked away from it. I see it does have some damage. Three drawer dressers don't necessarily sell the best for us. So sometimes you just have to know when to walk away, but it's such a pretty piece. that this should have a lid maybe is it missing a lid do you all know so just yep just whatever will catch my eye can you tell i'm getting ready to have a garage sale when i'm videoing this because i'm like nope nope no nope. i'm cleaning out my inventory nope i'm not gonna hoard anything i don't need to mean to be negative but sometimes your house just gets overwhelmed with goodies and i couldn't really figure out why this had a 1029 price tag on it I, is it something special and then when i looked at this i'm like okay so i don't is it a strawberry container like you would put dirt in it and have straw i was i wasn't sure what this was does anybody know so i've actually done this candle abra a couple times i think it's at a home interiors but as you see it's missing one of its inserts this cabinet is a great find to stumble upon. Nice size, one of those little chimney type because it's really small and you can tuck it away. Even though we told ourselves, unless it's a unique piece, and I would consider that a unique piece at the $15 price tag, I think that should come home with me. happens Alex is now looking at the glassware he loves the glassware so now I tend to start looking at it myself not something I normally would have ever looked at until you have a family member that likes it so I think this is supposed to represent being some type of an animal what do you guys think Now I had these almost exact bowls from an at-home party back in the day. So uh, I, I'm not sure what that price tag is, but okay. So when I go into a thrift store, I like to go once and then I like to go twice down each lane. It's amazing what you may not see or if they're restocking or somebody puts back the first time. Fourth thrift store of the day is a Salvation Army. So these are probably with traffic lights another 10 minutes from each other, but not too far. Now they have a section back here. Salvation Army gives Bibles away. You can take one. So I do always look to see if they have any of those black Bibles that I'm looking for. They have this section, which they consider to be worth a little bit of money. It's just nice to know that it's always going to be there. And then they do have cases. I never really look at the cases at the Salvation Army because that's not, as a reseller, it's not, I, that's not what I'm looking for anyway. Some people can and they can get what they're asking. But I'm really looking for items to flip and something simple for home decor. Sometimes I walk into this Salvation Army and it is packed and sometimes it is empty so you just never know. And now I'm kind of regretting that I forgot that I really like that set of little boots. It's a little planter. You know, you're editing and you're like, oh, I wanted that. I forgot about that, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. But those boots are super cute. I know I haven't done a thrift with me and I don't even remember the last time I did a thrift with me 
anyway. But this is the Salvation Army. If you followed our channel long enough that I found all those Crocs and kind of had to sit down, take a moment and decide which Crocs were coming home with me. <laughs> So, yes, this I'm always going to stop at this Salvation Army, whether the shelves are packed, whether they're empty. They do usually have some good finds. The fun of treasure hunting is just looking past all those other things that don't interest you to find that one that does. You just never know. It may look like when you first walk in, like, oh, I'm not going to find anything. But you just never know. You, the hunt is the funnest part of this like Let's call it a game. It's the funnest part of this game. So, yep, I just like to look over everything you never know what might be hidden behind something and our eye just likes what our eye likes so we are all drawn to something just a little bit different so i uh, i hope that you enjoy seeing everything on the shelves i would say that these are probably vintage i remember getting jelly in types of collectible little glasses <laughs> they call them back in the day i think those are yep somebody might be happy to stumble across those i'll leave those for somebody else and i do i keep you know i watch too many other people that thrift and resell differently so i do my eyes drawn to some things that they like even though i wouldn't be picking them up in black and white prints i was trying to tell if this is somebody's original photography that they matted themselves now i wish it wouldn't have been most of it was a winter theme and if it wasn't for that i probably would have picked a couple of them up i only could have probably resell these for about 10 to 12 dollars so there's not a huge profit in them but i really wish there was more than just winter And this mirror caught my eye. I like that bevel. I like the detail. But once I got my hands on it, it was plastic. So, nope, not going to come home with me. I really wish it would have been a wood. Even resin would have been a little bit better. And, yes, these all day long calendar sell so yep i'm gonna take that and let's see what else see what i said even though the shelves are a little bit on the empty side there's still treasures to be found and now these are priced better so two for 2.99 i can do that because i only get about seven to ten dollars for a set so that's a much better price i haven't really done a dollar general makeover i haven't really found a lot to makeovers so i thought i would pop in to what used to be one of my favorite ones to see what they have and the shelves were very much packed but i didn't really see a lot of things that i could envision making over and making enough profit from them or even actually buying to just resell but it is always fun to look So now that barn caught my eye. I like that it was framed. It's definitely a pretty print.
picture is a lot of vases, a lot of flowers. This was really super cute. I believe it's probably to hold your plastic silverware. I like the little quirkiness of it that it's not perfect. And a lot of it has gone to be more plastic. So it's really hard to paint plastic. <laughs> it's still plastic. So, I mean, some things are okay. It's got more color than um, I really want. But you never know. They're always constantly changing their stock. And that looked like a smiley face to me. Kind of reminded me of Pioneer Woman. But yeah, so, you know, it can't hurt to stop once in a while. You never know if I'm going to find something to make over. And I was actually looking for some pillow forms and I was very disappointed in Hobby Lobbies. They were just going to smush. And so I actually was eyeballing these because I had just thrifted that fabric. actually at the garden section looking for the cement birds or any of the little birdies but they don't seem as packed as packed as it is I don't really I'm not really finding any So just for fun, we are going to finish this up where we started back at my hometown, Goodwill. And that way I can show you, yes, that's how fast the inventory changes. So let's see what's on the shelves now. Now this bread canister caught my eye, but I'm not really sure how you sit your bread in it. Would it smash or is it for a round loaf? I, it, anyway. So yep, they have some more new carts out. There's just not enough help to go around these days. So they just please go through it and they don't have to find a space for it. So I will dig around and see if there's anything that catches my eye. sure why I didn't pick up that mirror. I didn't even go over and look at it. I noticed that this was the shape of a guitar, but I'm not really sure what what it holds. I need another ball jar but look at the size I don't think I have anyone quite this small it's probably newer but a dollar 29 I don't think I can leave it behind I know I have lids Alex had picked up some red similar to this red 
Avon plates at that seven family garage sale and I kind of thought I wonder if he'd like this but then I realized it was a snowman so yeah not quite the season I don't think he wants to have an inventory like that as he's testing this out is funny i left this behind because <laughs> uh, i didn't really want to spend the time painting it but then i had an idea for it so there's the god wink moment that it's still there and then look at these little salt and pepper shakers a little piggy and a lamb oh my gosh they have the stoppers in them i think 229 great price And then look at the spice rack. Somebody must have dropped it. Oh, now it makes me feel bad that I didn't purchase it the first time, but you can't just hoard on to things just because you like them, or can you? And this is a very pretty hummingbird cup, but I thought the flowers on their heads were a little awkward. And I do really like this clock, but it was plastic. So many decisions to be made. Okay, just one more cart before I head to the checkout with my treasures. Uh, yes, you have to take a look. <laughs> I can't just pass this by without digging through it. And good thing I did because then I spied this being brought out. Oh my gosh, look at this cute little. I know it's got some brokenness, but I know I can bondo that. What a cute size little side table. So that was actually a trip that I have not actually made for a while. I've been finding enough here locally that I haven't really had to go out of town but it was one of those rainy jury days and we worked really hard in the yard and I'm like, oh, I just don't want to stay at home and paint anything. I wanted to go on a shopping adventure. So I'm glad that I was able to take you all along and see what was on the shelves. And yep, I, you're, you're always going to get one of our cats in our video. And this is, this is Squirt. So apparently he'd like to see what, um, what I got. Yes. Um, I will make the announcement that you probably won't see Glenn anymore. Glenn, um, <laughs> not that we got rid of him, he just had to go to a different home. He went to one of my daughter's friend's home. Glenn was a one cat only cat. Even though he got along with our cat Peach, he didn't get along with the twins, which is Squirt and Rascal. And we had had him since August in our home and he just, tortured the other two to the point that they were actually their health was in danger as much as I loved Glenn and I loved sharing him in the videos of a two-year-old kitten basically even though he didn't look like one we did have to rehome him where he was an only cat and now he has a dog to play with but he just terrorized the other two so bad that literally we had some behavior issues going with the older two and yeah, so when their health started to go down and I had one cat that was not even going and using the litter box, there you go, that that you that you have to change your mind. So my daughter had to rehome Glenn. Ah, that that is such a hard decision, but you can't have the health of others caused by one cat that he was a sweet cat to us, but oh my gosh, did he love to torture the other one. So there there you go. If you're new to our channel and you've never seen Glenn Yes, he was a big black 
So we could still go see him, but I think he's happier not having, and then they have an area where he can go outside unsupervised, and that's really what he wants to do. And we live in an area that we're surrounded by dogs, so he cannot go outside unsupervised. So anyway, let me show you what I found when I was out on the shelves. I know some of it, I didn't really even try to hide it. I was just excited to get to go and go into my old stomping grounds, which what well, doesn't seem like that long, but it's had to be been like six weeks I think since I've been able to make this type of a trip and then popping into a Dollar General to see if there was anything that I could make over but the prices have gone up I can't really envision any of that stuff making it over and especially reselling it not only do I want to make it over for you all but I also would like to resell it because <laughs> how much can you have in your home so let's start right off and I'm just gonna grab a bag so in the second Goodwill, I did end up getting those two candlesticks. I only, I, 329 is a little bit, I would probably send, sell these um, for $12 for the set. Now, because I'm not going to do anything to them, I think that's okay. Um, I don't know when the $8.99 price tag a piece was date from Hobby Lobby, but I do like the metal on it. I, you know, this is kind of like what we are, we flippers are, you know, are making things over, especially with the white wax and the black. So yeah, it, it, a little bit more than I'd want to spend. I wish, I wish they were selling them as a set, but what do you do? And then for the $2.29 price, I did pick up the little dowels and pegs because we thrift furniture all the time and sometimes I have to fill them in because we don't have the right size pegs. And I do like the character a lot on the furniture that has these. So, and I do have a piece actually that's missing some of the pegs. So whether they fit or not and I have to fill them all in, I don't know, but for the $2.29 price, I thought that was wonderful. Okay, let's grab the next bag. Oh, this was the Salvation Army. So I did pick up those two candlesticks because they were priced just right. The $2.99 price for the set. <laughs> um, yes, because $7 and $10 for the set is what I can resell them for. Sometimes at $10, they sit for a long time. Seven, they get swiped up. Ten, they sit. So do I go $8.50? <laughs> do you go in the middle and do $8.50? After I paint them in distress, they, that's usually what somebody's looking for. And then, nope, I don't pass these up. The last one I did, I just, all I did was go on the outside edges and just distress that because that's the places that it's chipped anyway. So why not go ahead and just distress it? Um, it's the black and the white I'm looking for. It was, um, it just says distributed. It doesn't really say by who, if it was a Walmart or a Hobby Lobby or, um, but yeah, these, these still sell really well. So as I'm prepping for a garage sale, as I kind of told you in the video, you have to do inventory control. Um, I have stuff in my own house that I want to sell. <laughs> yes. And then, you know, you change things out. I've got new pieces of furniture now and we got new flooring. It's funny how we decorate. And so, um, yeah, so we'll be doing a garage sale. So I'll share the process of that all with you. Now it's not at at home sale. It's not a sale where I'm taking stuff out of my booth and selling it at my booth prices by any means. It's not that kind of sale. It is going to be a garage sale. It's going to be control my inventory, things that didn't fit in the booth that I flipped for you all, things that I brought home for the booth that so and then things in my own from my own house and I know my children have stuff that they're going to put in and I saw Chris going through some of his tools in his workshop. Uh, we are just those type of people. I can't handle all the clutter, so I just have to um, control it by having sales. And so I hope that I get a little bit of video for you all to share how we put it together and how it goes. So I'm not sure if it'll be two videos or if it'll be one video, but there's there's that. So I did pick up this beautiful candle. Can I did pick up this beautiful canister set for eight twenty nine enamelware. Oh my goodness, just 
three pieces. Now it does have a little bit of wear on it on the, the, the smaller one, but that's just what enamel wear does. And so I don't know, you know, these two are imperfect. This one's got a little bit of wear on it, but you don't have to put flour and sugar in it. This could be your bird seed. This could be your flowers. This could be on a, um, a garden, a potting table, you know, so it's not necessarily have to be a kitchen item. I guess when I picked it up, I didn't think of it as a kitchen item. I thought it was more of a gardening item. And then I did pick up this brush. This was uh, $5.29. Um, I do have some of those dustpans that match it that you do the crumbs. You guys all explain that to me. You do the crumbs off your tablecloths. And they haven't really sold separately, like the ones that I had the, the broom and that in, they sold a little bit better. So to see if I can get them to sell, that's why I picked up 529, ouch. Um, but I don't come across just the, the broom itself, so, or the duster itself. So that's why I picked that one up. And then, okay, for $3.29, I did pick up this little pitcher, whether I keep it in my own decor because it matches my crockery, um, except it's got a little bit more glaze on it, or I put some of the paper flowers. I do have something in mind that I get through the garage sale and I can do more DIY craft videos for you all. So, yep, baby steps, get the lawn done, get their outside furniture done, get the garage sale done, and I will be back with you with a lot more crafts. And then in the last bag, when I round robined, because when I left my local Goodwill, I didn't pick up anything. I left empty handed. It happens, it happens. So I was a little bit early. Um, you never know, just that happens to be that day. Um, one of the managers mentioned to me, yep, yeah, Monday morning, we clear off the shelves. And so eh, maybe don't go early on Monday morning. <laughs> but the little box was there, the little six, little shelf box thingy. <laughs> I don't know, cubby boxes. Um, I did have an idea for that. So I'll throw anything I'm gonna make over in with my Sunday videos of when I make over stuff. I know those always tend to be long, but I put them on a Sunday and you can watch them all week <laughs> if you don't get through the whole thing. And then I don't think I even saw these in a video or on a shelf, um, but these were $4.29 for the set of four. So yeah, I definitely, that natural's coming in um, a little bit more, so I'm gonna see what I can do with these. They've got that rough finish um, that's coming off. So I think just sanding them and seeing how they oil up, we'll see how that, as of right now, we'll see how that goes. And then I did pick up that little ball jar for $1.29. Um, I'll put a lid on it. I do have some lids still from Kathy's estate. So I can put that down with my collection because I don't have one this small. Usually I just pass them up because as I said, we are a canning community. And so you can find these all over. So not something, not something that usually resells very well. And then my last bring home were, was, were, were the salt and pepper shakers of the pig and the sheep. Oh my goodness, how cute are they? $2.29, I would probably get six, seven dollars for a set um, of little pepper, salt and pepper shakers. But you know, the farmhouse animals, look at that little smile on his face. Oh my gosh. So yeah, thank you so much, you guys, for coming and thrifting with me. I hope you enjoyed. Even though the shelves are not stocked, there's still always treasures to be found. So I always go in and take a gander, and I hope my one that was used to be my favorite can get things going again. And oh my gosh, that stuff that's overpriced. It's not an antique store. I mean, I don't want to complain, but that's a little bit on the crazy side. So if any of the 
local Goodwill people, I know they watch our channel and watch our Facebook. So come on now, you know, that's a thrift store. You want to make money. If you have to mark the price down, then you know. So anyway, thanks again for coming along thrifting with me. I surely enjoyed sharing it with you all. So again, thanks for being part of our YouTube family. And if you're new and you're checking out this content for the first time and you liked what you saw, please hit that subscription button along with the notification bell. So you know, we've uploaded a new video and we will see you next time guys. And you can see what we're up to. Bye. Mm -hmm.